Frank Cabrazino with the Uncensored Report. Foreign services, is that what our Air Force has turned into? False flags. Is this Air Force, is that what they've become? That's what some are saying. United States, France, United Kingdom. They're out there, they're bombing without a thorough investigation. And it's prompted widespread bipartisan backlash from all political sectors out there. Many saying that the United States is acting as a jihadist air force for Al Qaeda, ISIS, Jash al Islam, Ar al Shalam, Al Nusar. Is this accurate? A lot of you may may not know that ISIS or the moderates out there in Syria mounted an attack that was coordinated with the Air Force attack by the United States, the Western missiles that struck down on them, the ISIS groups decided to take advantage of the U.S.-led targeted strikes against Syria yesterday. Not sure if 71 were shot down or not, because you can't believe news from either side, from the United States, from Syria, from Russia. I know that in Duma, because of the airstrikes, That a real investigation was prevented. And a lot of what people are wondering, opining, is that the reason behind the strike? Because it prevented chemical inspectors from the UN. From the prohibition of chemical weapons, OPCW, the UN. To get on the ground in Damascus. Because as you may or may not know, there there was no thorough investigation. You had the Russian propagandists saying what they thought was true. That it was the British government. You had the United States saying it's true because they went based upon social media videos by the White Helmets who have a checkered past, who some believe are actually working with these so-called moderates. No true investigation. Somebody came on my page and said, Frankie, kids were bombed, stick with this stuff. They were chemically attacked. That may be true. Who did it? There's a lot of travesty, tragedy throughout the world does that mean we go out and spend millions bombing individuals without investigating to see if they should be bombed how do we know that it wasn't the extremists that held doom at the time was it a false flag operation you don't know because you got this compliant media that's there and the dynamic is there the legacy mass media using all their tools social media paper print Shutting down, censoring those who dissent, calling them conspiracy theorists, all under the guise that they're fake news because they're trying to put out the real story. And even if there isn't a real story, they're trying to put out stuff like I do, where you question it. I have no problem going in and bombing the hell out of people if the information is accurate. Actually, I do. I don't like being the national, international police. But let's make sure our ducks are in a row. Let's not go out there and work in conjunction with ISIS. I challenge any of you to go up and look at McCain and his involvement with ISIS. The photos are out there. The information is out there. Him and Lindsey Graham. And I'm a right-leaning fool. But those two are warmongers. And many on the left are jumping in on the bandwagon. Padded pockets from the industrial military complex. You know, last year, Trump responded to a similar gas attack. Um, this whole Duma thing was similar to that, if you think about it. This gas attack in Khan Shekhan was blamed on the Assad government. But they had people go out there like this some IT professor, Postal. He went out there. This guy's an expert leading academic, foremost expert in the field on chemical weapons, weapon academia. And he said it's being blamed on Assad, but it wasn't them. He was critical of the United States' assessment of the blame that was placed on the Syrian government. Yet we bombed the hell out of them for that one. And most experts will tell you that this reports from last year's over in Khan about the nerve agent was staged, was a false flag. But mass media doesn't care. Our government doesn't care. The industrial war complex loves it. 
on this one. Russia says, hey, we got irrefutable evidence that Duma was staged by the British um, intelligence pushing a Russia-phobic campaign. Accurate? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Because their news media, their government spits out the same amount of propaganda as ours. You know, their MOD, I watched, I didn't understand it was in Russian. I watched it for a little bit. Claimed to have evidence of alleged chemical weapons attacks in Syria. They said they have evidence that MI-16 was out there ranging the provocation, provocative moves. They say the guys in the footage that we all saw of the kids on April 7th's chemical attack in Duma. But according to this chem, uh, Konshenkov group, the primary source of the footage, of the photos in Damascus. An area um, that was, it was planned by the Islamic uh, group Army of Islam that controlled Duma at the time. They had the white helmets in there. They ordered and arranged the provocation. The Western media and Western governments will tell us that the white helmets are there to help everybody, humanitarian. Although the propagandists on the other side, the Russian, Iranian, the moderates, say that they're extremists. U.S. Department of Defense said that the option to strike the Syrian government would remain should Assad use chemical weapons again. So why would he go out and use them again? He was winning the war. It makes no sense. And this guy's a doctor. Assad's a doctor. I think he's an op of... I forget what he is. He's not a dumbass. But the moderates knew if chemical weapons are again used, that the United States will come in, that the Western powers will come in, bomb the hell out of them. We can easily coordinate our attacks with it because it's publicized that we're going to bomb the hell out of them. They knew where we were probably going to bomb. The United States and France they, and even England claim that they have this open source of information, which is nothing more than reports, videos, by white helmets, by social media, and by MSM that are walking foot in step with the government. And the reality is I have not seen any evidence, only propaganda for public consumption from the right, or not the right, from Russia and from the United States. I haven't seen any evidence that Assad did or didn't do it, that the moderates did or didn't do it. But I can, I, I'm smart enough to know that Assad was winning that he knew chemical attacks would draw ire from the United States and the Western powers. The moderates knew that a chemical attack blamed on the side would help their agenda, their narrative. That's what I know. And that's why I'm drawing concern here. They're using the guise of humanitarianism. To go on attack, and you saw that more, never, more. It was never more evident than that one lady that came on yesterday's rant, where I was, I was talking more about how false flags throughout the history of the United States and different countries have been used to go in as a guise for war, where thousands of people will die. She let her motion get in there. Frank, they were kids. They were chemically attacked. Stick to Venice. Humanitarianism. The emotional cord. So A, yeah, they were kids. Is it our responsibility to go in there, spend millions of dollars, with, and, and to do it on top of the fact that we have no evidence that it was Assad? Remember, folks, this whole thing started over a gas line. Syria's refusal to cut Russia out with that gas line. Next thing you know, these moderates are flowing in there, courtesy of McCain and Graham. It's time to stop talking. Stop taking the bait over and over again. And that's why media like mine is important. Because we question. We don't come up with the answers. We don't put out false information. We just question. And that's why there's a great move to shut people down like myself on the national level and even the local level. I could shut down constantly on the local level because they don't want that information out there. What say you guys? All right, this has been Frank Abrazino with the Uncensored Report.